Welcome back. Well, there are many threats to our electronic devices, but one that we may not think about happens when we are hit with an electrical surge like a lightning strike. Here with our answers is our tech expert, Stan Prager from Go Geeks in East Longmeadow. Hiya, Stan. Hey, happy Friday, Tom. Happy Friday. It's always hey. nice when you're here. Thanks for having me on the show. So, what you got? So this week I bought a prop, and I also have a technical term. So if, if people out there want to write this down, you want to get a pen ready, what is this, do that, you think? I know what that is. That's a power strip. Well, I would like to say you're right, but you're not. I'm not it's, right? But they look like the same. This is a surge protector. So a surge protector looks like a power strip, but it has built-in protection so that if there's a power surge, your devices will be protected against getting fried. Now, you wouldn't think this was a big issue. Many people do not. I grew up in Fairfield, Connecticut. We had uh, one power failure that I can recall in my childhood, and I remember being terrified. The lights were off. I'd never seen this. Now I live in East Long Meadow, and it goes off all the time. At least once a week, I come home, and the clock is blinking on the stove. That's a power surge? I always associate it with, like, lightning strikes. No, no. The power surge. The light, the, the power goes up, even for a nanosecond, but when it comes back on, it surges through the lines. This is where the danger is. So there's a sudden loss of power. It comes back on. It surges through the line. So uh, the reason why these things all look alike is because they do. They're all multi-plug outlets. So However, what happens, Stan, if I, have my, if, I, if I go to sleep at night and I plug this into my, my normal charger yes. and where there's a power surge and it zaps my phone, what happens to my phone or my, my tablet? It can be or, completely fried. When you say fried, you mean gone, shot, everything's yeah. lost? Yeah, you can, yeah, the damage can be irreparable. Sometimes it can just do some, you know, short-term damage, but often the damage is really devastating. So, you know, we have a lot of people like, um, uh, people like to take their laptops and plug them into the islands of their kitchen counter, right? right? Most people who have desktops have something like this, but if you have a laptop or a phone or something like that, you just plug it into an outlet. You know anything, right? yeah. When there's a sudden surge of power, it goes through. So these things are rated in what's called joules. That's the one technical term for today. And we're not talking about the joules in a, in a watch or on the queen's necklace. We're talking about J-O-U-L-E-S. And if you go to um, Home Depot or Rockies or Brightwood or any hardware store, these will be hanging up, and they all look alike. Again, some are just multi strip outlets, you know? Like a so, junction box. Yeah, exactly. But the ones that are surge protection will say on them how many joules surge protection, and you need at least 800. 800 or higher. So 800 to 1,000, they go up from there, but you know, I would say 800 to 1,000 is what most people need. What and do those cost? $25. Okay. They're not expensive. Um, the other thing is if you have a laptop and you don't want to carry something like this around, they do sell smaller ones that are about the size of a cigarette pack. They have two outlets on it. You can plug it in anywhere. What about your TVs? Now, TVs are getting so expensive and so fancy, and, and your, your TV can be affected by a power surge, right? Absolutely, and this is why when you buy an expensive television from a, uh, a big box store, they often try to sell you a surge protector that costs $100. That's kind of over the top. That gives you a level of surge protection that's incredible, but probably more than you need. Probably you want to tell the guy at the store, thank you very much, I'm going to take my Samsung TV home, and you're going to go to Rockies or Home Depot, and you're going to buy one of these for 25 bucks. It's, it's probably going to be more than adequate. If you have really expensive equipment, or if you're concerned about power loss at all, uh, what I have at home is what's called an, uh, a UPS. That's an un, un, I can't say it. uninterruptible power supply. It's a battery with a surge protector. Great. We've got to cut you off there. I, I hate fine. to do it. No, we, no, we, we're going to have a power surge if I don't go to commercial. I understand. 800 joules. Thank you, Stan Prager. Thanks for having me. Go Geeks in East Longmeadow. Fantastic. We'll see you next week.